Okay, so we're going to go over the muscles of the head and the neck. If you remember some of the bones of the skull, then you can remember some of these muscles very, very easily. So over the frontal bone right here, you have the muscle called the frontalis. So the frontalis sits on top of the frontal bone. Right here, this is your temporal bone. And the muscle that sits on top of this temporal bone is called the temporalis muscle. So temporalis sits on top of the temporal bone. In the back of the skull here, this is your occipital bone. The muscle that sits on top of the occipital bone is called the occipitalis. So again, on top of the frontal bone, this muscle is called the frontalis. On top of the temporal bone, this muscle is called the temporalis. And on top of the occipital bone, this muscle is the occipitalis. Okay, then if you remember from your uh, skeletal uh, unit, the cheekbone was called your zygomatic bone. And this, this one and this one, the muscles that are attached to your cheekbone are called the zygomaticus. Okay, both of these are called your zygomaticus. Okay, then we have circular muscles. We have circular muscles around the eyes and a circular muscle around the mouth. These circular muscles are called orbicularis. An orbicularis just means a muscle in the shape of a circle, okay? And so both of these are called orbicularis. The ones around the eyes are called the orbicularis oculi because your oculars, if you remember from your microscope unit when you're looking down the eyepieces, those were called your oculars. So these are your orbicularis oculi. The one around your mouth, this is called your orbicularis oris. Because if you're taking something by mouth, you're like a peel by mouth, it's oral medication. So this is your orbicularis, circular muscle, oris. Okay. Then we have this big muscle this side, at the back of the jaw. This is your masseter muscle, okay? If you're doing the process of mastication, which is chewing your food, this muscle is working in overtime. So you're doing the process of mastication, chewing your food. So this muscle is called the masseter muscle, okay? Then you have two muscles down here by the mouth. This big one, it comes from the corner of the mouth out. This one is called your depressor anguli oris because it comes from the outside angle of the mouth, okay, the outside corner, and goes out. So this is your depressor because it depresses or pulls the lips down. So this is your depressor anguli oris. This one that comes right down off the bottom lip right here, this is called your depressor labia. Labia actually means lip. So your depressor labia is going to depress or pull down your lower lip in a pouting type fashion. So if you've ever seen a two-year-old and they go and they stick their bottom lip down, that's your depressor labia that's pulling that lip down. Okay, so again, depressor anguli oris. And then right here is your depressor labia. Then if we turn this around right here. You can see that this side, we have all of these superficial muscles cut away so that you can see these deep muscles here in the cheek area. So this one right here, that's going from the cheek towards the lip, this one is called the buccinator. The buccinator muscle is gonna purse the lips together in a blowing or whistling fashion. So it'll be going, the muscle that does that action is your buccinator. Okay, think blowing buccinator. Then back here, you have two deep muscles, deep within the cheek, right in front of the ear. These two muscles are called your pterygoids. Okay, so both of these are called your pterygoids. So we're going to go back over them again, just so you have one other time to, to review them. The forehead is called the frontalis, right above the ear here. 
temporalis. The back of the head muscle here is called occipitalis. The two right here going to the cheek are your zygomaticus. Around the eye is your orbicularis oculi. Around the mouth is your orbicularis oris. Coming down, it would be this side gone, but coming down right here, this is your depressor anguli oris. And this one coming down right here is your depressor labia. Then on this side, you'll see the masseter muscle. Remember mastication, chewing, this muscle. When we go to the other side and we've had that masseter muscle pulled off, all those superficial muscles are gone. And now you're seeing the deep muscle. So right here, right in front of the ear, these are your pterygoids, these two right here, your pterygoids. And then this one right here is your buccinator. Remember, it's going to help you whistle or blow. Okay, that's the buccinator. So those are the muscles of the head that you all have to know for your practical. Now we're going to go over the muscles for the neck. Okay, let me share a screen with you here. Okay, so you're seeing on this screen here, this is showing the platysma muscle. So on this guy, if there, you could see the sheet type muscle that covers all of this, that sheet muscle would be called the platysma. But on our models, we, we have removed the platysma so you can see the deeper muscles. So we don't have any muscle, I'm mean, sorry, any models that show the platysma muscle. So if we were to ask you that, we would have to ask you from a picture like you're seeing here on my screen. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the full screen so you can see the, um, the muscles of the neck now with that platysma muscle, that sheet muscle, pulled away and removed. So what you're seeing is you see this long muscle here that goes from the back of the ear all the way to the sternum. This is your sternoclidomastoid. Okay, it's called your sterno because it's going to the sternum. Mastoid because it hooks to the mastoid process of the temporal bone. So sternoclidomastoid. That's that diagonal muscle that goes from behind the ears all the way down to the front of the neck. See y'all next time.